so my beautiful people I am back with another Elden Ring video and well I'm not sure how long you guys have been a fan a sub or followed me but you probably ain't aware you've only joined me since Elden Ring and that I speak my mind I mean I don't care whose feelings I hurt if things need to be said you can pretty much guarantee I will say them and what needs to be said today is Elden Ring's PvP is utter garbage How's it going guys? My name is DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So yes, Elden Ring PvP is garbage. Now, I ain't gonna over exaggerate this and tell you guys I play 24-7, this, that and the other. I mean, I've played it a little. Uh, this is coming more so from actual uh, people who play it a lot i mean i'm i'm reading plenty of people i'm reading to plenty of people all over social media reddit my own discord uh, twitter facebook whatever that pvp in outer ring is just going downhill i mean when i first played it i mean it was quite fun i mean don't get it twisted there are still quite a few instances where people are actually trying to play they ain't hiding on top of a building trying to afk farm ruins which is just completely stupid and pointless which i'll talk about again in a quick second but i think it's like the way in which the pve side of this game works putting them both together kind of in my opinion doesn't work for pvp because let's just talk about builds for a second here i mean i'm not bashing any kind of build i've put quite a few builds out there that are utterly brutal my main goal is for builds uh, to be used in pve but hey you can't stop people using them in pvp and that is kind of the problem here i mean i've entered a couple of games of pvp and i've been literally one hit don't know what's going on but i've been one hit which just completely breaks the balance of things now this kind of annoys me the fact that people can be so overpowered but at the end of the day that is an exclusive that one person you've gone to PvP and fought, him being super powerful and being able to basically one tap you, isn't exclusive to him. There's nothing stopping you from doing the same kind of thing. There are plenty of builds out there which allow you to do this kind of thing. And yes, there are broken things in this game. Items like the carrying shield you can use, which can allow you to one tap more or less anything in PvP. And a few other things as well, which I do feel from software will clamp down on will nerf into the ground which again is something i don't really agree on i don't agree on uh developers nerfing things into the ground i think a balance is needed but hey that's just my opinion an opinion that's come from 15 years of youtube gaming where i've seen many many things ruined due to them once being overpowered i'm just being nerfed too far never to make a comeback i hate that kind of thing hopefully some software can get things right when it comes to nerfing but even still there are certain things in the game which are utterly broken, which you can take advantage of even in PvP. But again, that isn't the issue I have. The main issue I have is trying to find someone to actually play with, test things out with, or even sometimes help. A lot of the time I'll enter a game, I'll enter someone's lobby and they're hiding in a spot which only the jar cannon can reach. AFK farming runes. I'm like, what the hell is wrong with people? I mean, yes, don't get it twisted. I guess it's a decent way to AFK farm runes. I mean, if these people that live in their basements want to actually eventually go outside and experience the feeling of grass, they've now got a way in which they can put their controller down, leave their key keyboard and mouse aside and still earn runes or be i mean it's like 15 to 20k every i don't know invasion maybe i mean it's obviously the higher your level could be possibly the higher the enemy who invades you's level as well probably the more runes you get but i mean you can literally guys you can literally go to the bird farm on any level doesn't matter what level you are and earn between 13 and what 18k every 15 20 seconds at a push i mean if you've got things like the relic sword that morg spear any kind of area of effect spell you can take out the whole hill in about 15 or 20 seconds too and earn 50k upwards why are people afk farming pvp it just doesn't make sense to me and i experienced a couple of people doing this so i just went onto youtube searched it up a little bit afk pvp farm and I found quite a few videos on people actually showcasing how this is done. Now, I'm not going to mention any names, but 
trying to fight through people, advertising websites that sell weapons and runes is something I didn't think I'd face. But when I eventually fought through these websites, these scammy websites, which I've been a victim of in the past myself, but hey, these guys know exactly what they're doing, advertising this shit. But hey, that's a different story, but that isn't my problem. I mean, at the end of the day, if they want to break terms of service, that's completely down to them. If they want to earn a couple grand out of it, that's completely up to them. Who am I to judge? Either way, a lot of these videos are basically promoting and advertising methods in which you can AFK farm by getting into weird spots. People invade you, can't get to you, they either end up leaving or whatnot, or someone invades and helps the person you're invading and kills you, they still get wounds. But it isn't that much. And I see one was like 10 million an hour, 20 million an hour doing this. I don't, I don't think so. I don't think so. I mean, yes, YouTube's algorithm, the majority have to clickbait. We have to use those red arrows. I ain't innocent of this either. This super OP, super one hit build. I mean, for a lot of enemies, it does one hit, but for the bigger guys, it don't and probably never will. And there ain't many builds out there that actually do this. But hey, we're all fighting to hook those viewers. So a lot of people will clickbait. I mean, more or less everybody clickbaits now on YouTube. If you don't and you ain't super original, you probably ain't going to get anywhere. But either way, these kind of AFK farms are making the whole PvP experience just a boring one. Now, personally me, I don't play PvP that much. This has come from the basis of actual feedback I've seen all over social media, Facebook, Reddit, Twitter, my own Discord. A lot of people are just bored of PvP because when they want to go in there and actually battle, have fun, test out builds, which is fair enough, even if they are super powerful, five times out of 10, they're coming across players that are just AFK in trying to farm runes. And this kind of thing was always going to be a problem with Elden Ring. With so many possibilities and so many opportunities, people were going to find these kind of things. The only reliable thing I can think of is from software, I do believe will be on top of the instances many people are experiencing with PVP. I mean, there's major, major balance issues there. Pushing the AFK farming aside, there's major issues within PVP balancing. You can still find it fun, like cat and mouse chase. And I know a lot of people still do find it fun. A lot of people actually have a lot of fun in trying to find these people AFK in, which is more up my street. But at the end of the day, guys, PVP right now, in my opinion, is sinking. It's dead and I can't imagine it getting any better anytime soon until from software clamp down on the fuckery that goes down within it. Now, I ain't going to sit here and cuss people. I ain't going to sit here and be little people who take advantage of AFK farming, who take advantage of overpowered builds, because at the end of the day, you paid for this game. You play how you want. I know I play how I want and ain't nobody stopping me doing that. This video is more on the basis, more of a rant on PvP as a whole. And there are many more instances that I haven't even spoke about today, which is just drawing the PvP side of this game further and further away from the incredible game, which is Elden Ring. But yeah, guys, I just wanted to make a short video. Well, I say short, it's gone on like almost eight minutes now. I planned it being short, but hey, one of those things. There's so much things to rant about. But yeah, the PvP side of Elden Ring, in my opinion, is trash at the minute. For sure, there's fun still to be had there, but for the majority, it's not a nice experience. It's a boring experience. And if you don't believe me, download Google Chrome, add that dislike button extension, go and check out a lot of these PvP videos, especially the one showcasing AFK farms and these crazy PvP overpowered builds. And you'd be surprised at the negativity surrounding these videos but hey it is what it is and this is just my opinion please tell me your opinion down below within that comment section even if it differs to mine please let me know but guys on that note the end of the video has arrived if you enjoyed it leaving a like really helps out if you like what you see and want to see more Elden Ring be sure to subscribe and hopefully my beautiful people I will see you on that next one